So I finally got done with my massive hydroponic greenhouse for tomatoes. It's 30 by 100 foot. It was a huge project, but I'm, I'm happy to be done with it. And I was able to get my tomato plants in there. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about how the, how the system works. And I wanted to show you the huge growth that I've been having from it. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so right here I have a tomato plant that I just pulled out of my nursery. This this has been sitting in here for about four weeks in this slab, or th this um, this two by four by four rock wool block. And see it's ready to transplant, the roots are sticking out of it. Anyway, this is four weeks, out, four weeks in this block. And this is the size of the tomato plant that I transferred into this slab that's been sitting in here for only two weeks. And I just wanted to share with you the massive growth that I've that I've seen from it. All right. So it's not even it's not even a comparison. Look at look how big that is compared to um, this guy. I mean, it is just absolutely massive, beautiful growth. You can see there is uh, flowers already. You know, I'm expecting to see tomatoes very very soon. I think in the next two weeks I'll have uh, I'll have at least little bitty tomatoes. You can see the foliage is just absolutely beautiful. We have been uh, suckering them pulling off the tiny little suckers and so we're not going to grow any suckers at all on this plant we're just going to try to grow huge tomatoes on this this variety is beefsteak but I just cannot believe how big that that tomato plant has gotten compared to this one this one is big beef and this one is a uh, hybrid or I'm sorry this one is an heirloom this one is uh, brandy wine, one of the best tasting tomatoes you can you can uh, ever ever have. I'm going to be planting those in this system as well on the other side of the greenhouse. But anyway, um, just look at that. The the proof is in the pudding that this is an awesome system. And so now, if you wanted to learn how to grow like this, I'm going to show you next. Okay, so in here is my nutrient solution, and this is just what I had laying around. This is a 55 gallon tote, and I bought this right here. That's just a sump pump. It's uh, about 3,000 gallons per hour, and this is my nutrient solution um, that I'm using. It is organic. I buy all the raw materials to go in there, and I mix them up, and um, eventually I will get a, a bulk, like a concentrate that will feed into this, but right now I'm mixing and putting it in there. But anyway, about uh, two to three times a day, depending on the weather, I will kick this thing on and it will, it will pump nutrient solution through here. So from the pump, this here actually came with the pump and all I did was slip this three quarter inch uh, plastic pipe over it, irrigation pipe, and it goes up here. I put this bracket here just to hold, help hold that pump in place, but it goes to this T right here that I got from Floraflex and it runs down here through this half inch pipe sorry for the mess under construction anyway let's get past the ladder if I get some room okay here we go so this half inch line comes down here and this is called a, um, a spaghetti hose right here and it's got this fitting that goes um, from there to this drip spike now Floraflex also sells a tool that it's basically it's a clamp and you clamp it and it puts a pinhole in there and then this just has a spike i'll show you that in a second so this just slips over that and then you squeeze it and it's got a little pin that pops out and it pop, pokes a hole in it and then that guy right there just sl slides right into that and um out of the 300 that i have installed i've only had a one or two leaks so not too bad but anyway that comes up this spike right here gets inserted into that piece of rock wool and then you're done uh, the only thing left to do is to put an end cap on at the very end and um, okay so then this stuff here this is a cocoa peat cocoa core slab uh, bag basically it's a it's a it's basically a raised bed system in a bag is all this is and I poked holes in the corners for drainage on one on each corner and uh, two to three times a day I cut it on and I irrigate this system and it's super easy 
Next, I just have a cinder block and a two by six. And then I had some extra plastic mulch for my field grow, growing that I just wrapped that in case uh, in case some of the nutrient solution drips down onto it. And then I don't have to um, I don't have to worry about that rotting anytime soon. So super easy. I have it spaced at about four foot centers, and that's it. So I've been using these tomahooks up here for the very first time, and so that's essentially a spool up there. And as the tomato plant grows up there, I will pay out some of that spool and run it down and um, run this tomato plant along there. And it's called the lower and lean system and you pull off the bottom leaves before you do that. And so, cause some of these tomato plants, I guess can grow 15, 20 feet tall. So we'll see how that goes. Um, at least the way that I have it set up does not recirculate, which a lot of you may be wondering okay well is this really good for the environment is it sustainable well the answer to that actually is yes because um, I run when I run this system it barely wastes any water at all there's hardly any drippage coming from those overflow uh, holes that I that I showed you so uh, there may be there's probably less than a pint of actual uh, nutrient solution that comes out of those corners of the slabs and that's when I know to shut it off most of the time I actually just wait uh, about the normal amount of time that it takes for those drips to start coming out and then I cut it off so it's not wasting anything at all really and um, they, these 300 tomato plants I usually I use less than 50 gallons of water a day to grow all of these if these were in the field I would be using probably four to five times as much as that to get the same uh, to get the same results so this is just absolutely incredible. And it uses, uh, like I said, two weeks worth of growth and I'm gonna be expecting tomatoes in the next two weeks. I'll keep you guys updated. This is just really exciting and I wanted to share that with you. If you have any questions about this hydroponic system, please um, post them in the comments section. I would love to get back to you. All right, thanks guys.